Samsung and Sony both have new handsets headlining their flagship range and will soon be battling out for that place in your pocket. So how do they compare in terms of specs? Well, here's a look at how 2014's biggest mobile releases so far stack up head to head. In the screen department, both come with Full HD displays, although the Z2 is 0.1 inches bigger than the S5. This means it has a lower pixel density of 424 ppi compared to the Galaxy S5's 432 ppi. Both phones come with meaty quad-core processors. While Samsung's version is slightly faster though, the Xperia gets an extra gigabyte of RAM, making both of these phones exceptionally fast. You get more storage options with the S5, which comes in 16 and 32 gigabyte flavors. Both have micro SD slots though, allowing you to expand up to 64 gigs. Both the S5 and Z2 can capture 4K video with their primary cameras. The Xperia wins in terms of megapixels with its high quality Exmor sensor packing 20.7 compared to the S5 16. The Xperia has more pixels around the front too, with a marginally higher 2.2 megapixels compared to the Galaxy's 2.1. In addition to 4K video capture, the Galaxy S5 and Xperia Z2 get other new camera features as well. The S5's real-time HDR mode and background refocus give you better control over how your photos look before and after taking them. Meanwhile, the Z2 gets a slow-mo mode and a defocus option that gives your shots cool motion blur effects. Both the Galaxy S5 and Xperia Z2 are built with durability in mind and have been given water and dust resistance. The S5's biggest new features though are the fingerprint sensor and heart rate monitor. The Xperia Z2 doesn't have anything quite as revolutionary, but does get stereo speakers and digital noise cancellation to make your music sound better than ever. And finally, battery. The Galaxy S5 has a slightly larger battery than the S4 at 2800 mAh. The Z2 comes with a much larger 3200 mAh battery, and both phones have their own dedicated power saving modes to make them go even further. We'll be waiting on both handsets to find out which one goes the extra mile in testing. For more smartphone news and reviews, keep it locked to techradar.com.